Debbie Calhoun from Southeastern Sailor. Let me tell you about the perfect match. Singular's new push-to-top feature and our new extended coverage area. That's right, now there's no need to carry two phones. One for push-to-talk and one to work in rural areas. Southeastern Cellular now has both in one unit. Come to any of our Southeastern Cellular locations for details. Hey everybody, it's Barry Miller. Welcome to this week's episode of Big Boys Toys. We're in Odenville, Alabama, the Piggly Wiggly in Odenville. We cruise in the first Saturday night of every month. Great looking cars here every first Saturday night of the month through October. They have a great cruise in here. You need to come down and visit. We're going to show you cars this week and next week's show will be all the cars from here at the Piggly Wiggly. Sit back, relax. We'll be right back. Gentlemen, it's time once again for Big Boys Toys. Tonight, your host, Barry Miller, will bring you the sleekest, trimmest automobiles from around the area that have been beautifully restored. If you love streamlined, full-force race cams, then this show is for you. So sit back, but don't get too relaxed. This is Big Boys Toys. Looking for great savings on new and pre-owned cars and trucks? Then head on over to Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC. Our courteous and knowledgeable sales team is ready to show you our huge selection of cars and trucks at out-the-door prices. Don't settle for our competition's offer. At Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, we're committed to sales, service, and customer satisfaction. So head on over to Ron Newton's. We'll treat you right. That's Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, top of the hill, Quintard. First vehicles, Kevin Dawson, a 1972 Nova. Kevin, welcome to Big Boys Toys. And your name, young lady? Macy. Macy. It, I think somebody said his name is Alias Hot Rod. Is that what they call yep. you? Yep. Hot call. Rod. All right. All right, tell me a little bit about your car. It's a 1972 SS Nova. It's got a 383 stroker in it, four speed Monty transmission, and painted competition yellow. Why Nova? What made you pick a Nova to work on? Uh, it was my dad's, and uh, I re restored it after he passed away. Now, Novas are pretty light cars. They're not they are not real heavy. You know, they come with 350s in it, and some of them 350s just put cam and lifters in it, and it's ready to go. Yeah. That's all you had to do to it. How long did it take you to do the work on it? It took me about six months. So you did most of the work yourself? Yeah, yeah. Did you build the engine? My dad built the engine. Your dad built the engine? Yeah. Hot Rod. How many tickets you had, Hot Rod? I had any yet. And had any tickets yet? Where you live at? I live in Leeds. So what else you got to do to it? Anything? I ain't doing nothing else to it. I'm finished with it. Now the interior and all, did you redo it yourself? Or? Yeah. I had some a guy in Oval do it for me. Now six months, that's pretty quick to get it completed. Yep. Why that color paint job? I like that color. I like that yellow. Huh? But you, you, you can get attention. But if you're going to be speeding around with that uh, stroker, you don't need attention. You no. need to paint it black where they can't see you. Because if you run from one of them, they're going to say, yellow, 71, 72 Nova. How many of them's around? Not many. Man, you can't even go home. They'll be waiting on you when you get home. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you got nowhere to go. They're going to get you. Wheels and tires, did you pick them out? Yeah. Now, a lot of times I've seen a lot of Novas that I've had on the show, they go back with the rally wheels. You know, you put rally wheels on a little bit of anything. So your dad had the car. He passed away and you decided to fix it up. Yes, Was sir. it already partly restored? Or? Uh, no, sir. It had a motor in it, and that was it. The chrome, I, you had to redo all the chrome and all that? I had to redo all the chrome, I already done everything. Was it a, a special car to him or? Uh, yeah, he had two of them and I got one and my brother got one and so we, that's what we did. Well see, it's probably back in my time. Yep. And that's what we, you know, I look at that 55s down there, the guy, I think you with him, right? The one in the red yeah, one? That's my man. You're, that's my man. All right. You get right to the point, don't you? <laughs> she told him she'd talk to me about that 55. He just brought it up here. Yep. Nothing else you want to do to it? Just drive it. Just drive it. Where some of the car shows and cruise engines you go to? 
Yeah. I go out to Atala, go to 280, go to a bunch of Silicaga and places like that. Atala ain't that far. All you're going to do is just drive it? I'm just going to drive it to the cruise ends and that's it. You married? No, sir. You got a girlfriend? No, sir. That's good. You keep your car a while because if, yep. you, if you have one of them, you, whenever you get that, you know, you say, well, I don't mean that. <laughs> I mean girlfriend, I mean wife. When you get a wife, first thing she's going to say is got to go. Is that? I'm getting in trouble. <laughs> I stay in trouble. <laughs> but nine times out of ten, you talk to any of the guys that I interview, I talk to them all the time. They'll say they had a car like that, they got married, got rid of it, and then they wanted one back 90% of the time. 90%. You've got that one 10%, her, her and her man down there. <laughs> you, got, you got that 10%, and that's it. Good looking, Vic. Appreciate you being on the show. Let Thank you get back down there with your man, because you've been up here with this man. We'll be right back. When you have an accident your car breaks down the road, you have so much on your mind, you don't know where to turn. I've got your answer. Skinner's Body Shop and Record Service here in Oxford, Alabama has 24-hour towing seven days a week. They'll be there when you need them. Also, remember when you do have that unexpected accident, you can choose the body shop of your choice to repair your vehicle. And the Skinner name has been known for professionalism and attention to detail for service for their customers for over 45 years. So stop by or call Skinner's Body Shop today. Tell them Barry Miller sent you by. You know, a lot of people, when you say moldy carpet, they don't know what you're talking about. Auto Custom Carpet right here on Noble Street, downtown Anniston. Ken Hale and his staff, they have moldy carpet for your vehicle. Moldy carpet means it fits right in your vehicle. Pre-cut, all you have to do is pick out the color, tell them to make the car, go in there on Monday, order that carpet. Guess what? Towards the end of the week, they'll be calling you to pick it up. Go home, it will lay right in that car. Any type car made, they have it right there at Auto Custom Carpet. Go by today or call and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, this day and time when you leave your home, you always wonder if your home will be safe when you return. Why not let the professional sales staff at Systems by Design in Oxford take all the worry out of your mind? With over 100 years of combined experience in home security business and 25 years in serving this area, they install only the best GE security systems. They have systems that can warn you from unseen hazards in your home while you're there or while you're away. Give Bob Bobo or one of his sales staff a call today, 831-9595, and tell him Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Kegel Auto Repair, Pelham Road right here in Jacksonville, Alabama, is your number one location for all of your automotive maintenance needs. From minor and major tune-ups to brakes to air conditioning, transmission service, tire rotation, yes, and even that regular oil change, they do it all right there at Kilgore's. They also do maintenance on go-wing motorcycles, changing tires, oil, and tune-ups. From top to bottom, they can do it on the Gold Wings. Also remember, Kilgore's is your DFT trike conversion dealer for the state of Alabama. Stop by a call today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Thirty-four and eight, my old John Beasley. John, welcome to Big Boys Toys. I told you earlier when we was down there talking, people love to see these eight models on the show. I filmed one about. It's been about three months ago, we was over at Roy Frost over in Leeds. Mm -hmm. Pell City. Pell City, I know you know Roy. Right. We filmed over there and he's got, I reckon, the best collection of eight miles I've ever seen in my life. You got a bunch of them. Bunch of them. Yeah. And people just love seeing these cars because it brings back a lot of the, don't bring back memories to us because you know, we wasn't here then, but just to see how them cars run, because I like to hear it when you crank it up, when it runs, I mean, and you can't break them. Tell me about your car. It's a 1930 Model A Coupe. You got the original engine, everything's just about original. Now what's the difference in the coupe and the, the regular 30? Well, they make a coupe, a two-door, a four, two four-door, roaster, roaster pickup, and a regular pickup. How long did it take you? Because I know if you had any parts to replace, they're tough to find. Well, I don't know, Roy said he finds them everywhere. You can find them. They're, they're not hard to find at all. It's hard to find original, I know, but... Right, you can a few, but most of them reproduce. Now, how long did it take you when you started on this one to finish? Well, it was about two years, not full time, but... Just here and there. Right. My wife and I built that from the ground up. And, pe and people, they're remarkable how these things run out on the road. Now, now, that don't have the windshield that pops up, right? Yeah, windshield comes out on it. That's the air conditioner. You take your plumb out? No, it just swings out. Swings out. Uh, swings out about eight inches, swings out. Don't let that windshield up at night. Them bugs hurt. <laughs> them bugs hurt. We was riding the other night. I was telling my wife I was down in Talladega on uh, Thursday night riding. I was coming back. Me and some guys coming back up 21. I was buzzing along there. 
and I seen this bug. It was big enough I could see it coming. I laid down behind the windshield a little bit, and it hit my windshield. I mean, and it splattered everywhere. I said, it knocked me plumb off that mosaic. Yeah. That bug would hit me. Now, what color you call it? This is original color, but what color you call it? It's called Chico Drab. All my legs had black fenders and running boards. Now, the interior and all, did you replace it or just buy it and just stick it in there? Right. I bought it, ordered the kit, and put it in. What kind of seats are in it? Well, it's wool. That, it's original material. The mm -hmm. Bear and Bunny made that interior. And heater, what do you do for heaters and them things? I know everybody's looking and says, you got a heater? You didn't tell you don't have air conditioning. Now you can put one in them, it worked kind of like a Volkswagen, it worked off the engine. Works up, so it's, the heat it's like air cooled. But just drift through off the engine. So you ain't gonna have no fan or nothing, it's just gonna be drifting. Right. Your if, engine fan blows it through this deal that goes on the manifold. So if you want to get you any heat in this, just catch it as it comes by. Right. Because it ain't coming back. Right. It's going to ease right on back out of it. Right. And it was pretty tight, too. I noticed when you open and shut the doors on it, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's tight. Right. It's a tight car. It is. What's some of the shows you go to? Because I know I have a lot of A-model shows where it's just A-models only. Right. I, I hadn't had it done in about two months. And I usually go to cruise in. You from around this area? Or? Asheville. Asheville. You're up on the mountain. Did you find it around here? Or? Nauvoo. 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 I filmed up there uh, about a month and a half ago, and that's some of the best shows that I've done all year because it's just a little small town, mm -hmm. and that place was packed. Right. Tell you what, Gilligan yeah. and Amo, appreciate you being on the show. Thank you, enjoy. We'll be right back with Big Boy Stories, and I got another for you to look at coming up next. Keach Optical, right here on Quintard Avenue. They're across from Amco Transmission on Quintard. I tell you what, the staff in their place are second to none. Hearing aids, they have hearing tests in there. They got hearing aids in there. And glasses, he's got any kind of glasses you want. He has the type like I wear that has no frame on it. He has these with the clip on it for sunglasses, just about anything. They have a doctor on staff that can do your prescription. You know, and they also the hearing test right there, they do it right there in the place and get your hearing aid today. Most turnaround on the glasses, they say turnaround's about 24 hours, maybe two days at max, turn around on your glasses. He puts a tin in them, he does anything right there. So go by there and tell him Barry Miller from Big Boy's Toys sent you by. Hey everybody, Barry Miller from Big Boy's Toys. m and Auto Repair, right there on 78, right across from the Quick Mats. Tell you what, Manuel and his staff can do anything that's known to be done to a car, they can do it. Tell you what, he's the specialist around here on carburetors. All you guys got these old street rods and all, or you've got some of the old cars, the carburetor ain't running right, he rebuilds quadrajets, hollies, just about anything. He's a Jasper engine dealer, and he has Jasper engines and transmissions. Also, they're TechNet professionals. They're uh, members of the TechNet, so that means they're good. They do about anything, and when they rebuild a motor for you, I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a difference. That motor's gonna look different when they rebuild it. They put their special touch on that engine before you pick it up. So go by and see Manuel or one of the staff at m and Automotive and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boy Stories sent you by. Now, T. Hall Harley Davidson, right here in Oxford, Alabama, Davis Loop Road. They're your Harley Davidson dealer for this area. In my opinion, they're a Harley Davidson dealer all areas. Stop by and see Keith and George today. They have about 40 Harleys on display by a new Harley. They have used Harleys. Clothes, you people like the Harley leather. They got any type of Harley clothing you want, helmets, you name it, it's right there. All you guys with Harleys want to put that extra chrome on that brand new Harley. They got any type of chrome you could want. Stop by Mount Charles Harley Davidson today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Looking for a classic car? Don't know where to look? I got the answer for you. Austin Hines Motors in Arab, Alabama. Austin has 55, 56, 57 Chevrolets, Camaras, Chevelles, Novas, Corvettes, any type of classic car you could want. He has it in one location. They have over 100 classic cars in stock. They also have cars that you can rebuild yourself and restore yourself right there at that location. He's also the largest wrecker and rollback dealer for this area. So call Austin today, 256-931-2277. Tell him I told you to call. Next vehicle, Farrell England, a 1934 Ford A model, similar to the one you just looked at just before this one, but a little bit different. Farrell, welcome to Big Boys Toys. Thanks, sir. Good looking vehicle. Tell me a little bit about it and about the A models. Well, uh, I'm not that familiar. I bought the car about three years ago, and uh, it was like that when I bought it. Uh, I've done very little to the car, but I uh, enjoy driving it. You get a 50-50 ticket you right can, here. I tell people all the time, you can buy a brand new Mustang like that one, come in while I go in California, spend $80,000, and ride down the road, and if someone's mowing grass, they don't pay it a bit of attention in the world, but if you drive this down the road, they're going to look. I don't care who they are. Since this show come out, we've been going now, we're in our fifth year. 
they, they tell me all the time you've done so much to the car enthusiasts, but cars are coming out of the woodwork. It's cars everywhere I go, and I don't run out. I mean, everywhere I go, I see cars that I hadn't filmed before, and they got to be coming from somewhere. And somebody says, well, they're getting them out of the garages. They wouldn't never get them out or ride them around until these cruise ins started, these shows started. You actually want people to see what you got because right. that's why you built it or that's why you bought it and that's why you clean it and work on it so people will look at it. You want them to look. Right. And it's got the regular flathead, set, flathead in it? Correct. It has an original engine, trans rear end. Uh, it's all original. Some of the shows, uh, you just go to most of the cruise ins around here? Right, yeah. Here, the one in was in Trustville and the one in Springville and Rainbow City, just nearby. Just yeah. pretty close around. Right. Yeah. It's fun just to get out and ride around. You ain't got to be in a big hurry. Yeah. You ain't got a car to be in a hurry. You ain't got a street ride. That's true. They're in fun just to get out and drive. You know, take your time. Stay off the interstate with it, though. Oh, yeah. Don't be getting on the interstate. You don't want to get on the interstate nothing these days. People are crazy. Now, what color is this? It's like a... It's a... Uh, Model A forward green. It's actually a two-tone green. I start to say it's got darker color, green at the top and darker green at the top. Yeah, and then black. medium green, and then it still has black. And like oh, you yeah. said, all the A models, the Fenders and Runner Boys going to be black. Correct. Right. And then upwards is different color. And A models, did they have a lot of colors back? No, not really. I know when they first come out, Henry Ford had an old saying: "You could get a car any color you want as long as it's black." That's about I mean, the size. Of it. That's about the size of it. Yeah. Black's all you're going to get, and. and People don't believe that was, you know, true. And I had a guy come up to one time. He says, I got a car I want to put on your show. I said, yeah. He said, it's a 53 Corvette. I said, Phew, that thing's rare. He said, yeah, it's blue and white. And I said, it's really rare. He said, what you mean? I said, it didn't make no blue and white ones. He said, oh, yeah, this one's original. 1953, the only color Corvette you get was white with red interior. That's all you're going to get. I mean, that, that was it. And I hear it all. I mean, uh, the car, the cruise is not bad. I get phone calls. and. My wife gets tickled sometimes. I'll answer the phone. I'll say, yeah, uh-huh. Had one guy call me one time, wanted to get on the show. He said he had an 83 Corvette that his dad bought, and it was completely original. He needed to get on the show. I said, I need to get you on, because they didn't make a Corvette in 83. Right. So I said, I really need to get you on the show. And then I thought about it, and I said, I take that back. I just told Phil. He said, what? I said, they made one in 1983. But unless you own the Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky, you don't own that car. So. You know, people that's coming out, they've got cars, and a lot of teenagers now, if you notice, you go to Oxford High School, during school hours, you'll see 65 Mustangs, you'll see Chevelles, Camaras. The kids are wanting the older cars. Right. And some of the dads told me, said, my daughter and son watches that show with me every Saturday or every Tuesday, and said, Daddy, I want one like that, I want one like that. And one guy said he built a Mustang, now he, put flared fenders on it for, and it's a pretty little Mustang. It's not original. He said, but she wanted a Mustang from watching Big Boys Talk. Right. Anything else you want to do to it? Nope, that's it, other than drive it. Drive it and have fun. That's it. I have an 82 Corvette also, and I enjoy driving my Model A more than my Corvette. Watch that guy with that 83 Corvette. Yeah, he comes right. up at me, watch him. <laughs> and he was talking. I'm the president of Corvette, though, because he's talking to a Corvette man telling me about an 83 Corvette. That ain't real good. Good-looking vehicle. It wasn't bad, was it? No, no, no. We'll be right back. Farmers and Merchants Bank. Farmers and Merchants Bank's got four locations to serve you. Piedmont, Anniston, Oxford, and downtown Jacksonville. 90 years of service. I'll tell you what, Farmers and Merchants Bank is the bank. You know, it's not like any other bank around. You can go in and they get your decision today. They make the, your decision on a loan or whatever you need right in that location. You have a personal banker that takes care of you right here. Don't have to send it to Birmingham, Charlotte, or anywhere. Go by one of the Farmers and Merchants Bank today. Tom Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, when someone smiles at you during the day, it kind of makes you feel great all over. Dr. Travis Phillips and his friendly staff right here in Oxford, Alabama says stop by their office and they'll help put that beautiful smile on your face. They have teeth whitening, general dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, dental hygienist, oil surgery, everything right here in Oxford, Alabama. He has full x-rays and partial x-rays that he does right in his office and you'll find out right then what he needs to do. They got professional staff. They have a saying, go the extra mile for the beautiful smile. Stop by and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, 90% of most homeowners don't know they have a pest or termite problem until they have a very expensive repair bill. Why not let the professional staff at Rice Pest Control inspect your home before it happens? 
with 50 years of experience in Northeast Alabama and with their free termite inspection for new customers, don't you think it's better to be safe than sorry? Call Tracy Rice today or one of his sales staff. Tell him Barry Miller told you to call. Hey, if you mention Big Boys Toys, you get 50% off your first initial service. So call him today at 1-800-850-4661. Oxford Tire and Alignment, Hammock Drive right here in Oxford, Alabama. They're your RV front end and tire bouncing headquarters for this area. They also have the Top Dog Muffler Systems, and they carry Uniroyal, BF Goodrich, Michelin, Goodyear, and Dunlop tires. You guys with the street rides and the regular cars want mag wheels, this is your one stop for your mag wheels also. They do brakes from passenger vehicles all the way to a one-ton dually. Front end on passenger vehicles, they're second to none in the area, and they fast and quick. Give Alan or Tommy a call today at 831-6320. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. Next vehicle, Joe Koshak, a, a 2006 Chevrolet Cobalt, right? There you go. Welcome to Big Boy Stories. Thank you. Cobalt. A lot of people ain't never heard of a Cobalt. So let's explain to them what this Cobalt is. Well, it's the Cobalt they come into, uh, well, they got your stock Cobalt, which is not uh, SS. The one I have is SS uh, Supercharged. It's got a uh, 2.4 Ecotech engine in it, uh, 24 valve. Uh, double overhead cam and it's supercharged at the 20 pounds boost with, 20. A, five, with a five speed transmission. And you're just going to jump on that five liter Corvette? Yeah, I jump on it, but I mean, you won't, you know, still won't stay there long. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be like a fly on a piece of pizza. It ain't going to stay there long. It's gone. <laughs> well, that's true. I, I agree with that. But it'll stay there oh, a while. Okay, the Cobalts, now, they just come out? or? Yeah, they come out in, uh, I think they come out in 03. 03, about three years old. Yeah, right. And uh, like I said, they have different models. Uh, of the Cobalts, and this one I had set up like I wanted it, and it's really nice. <laughs> you think the, the Cobalts kind of took the place of the Novas? Yes, that's what I was Because, saying. you know, you don't have the Novas anymore. You know, they're, they're coming out with Camaras again. you got about another year and a half, two years, and they'll be back out. Right. But they quit making the Novas, so it's kind of, you look at it, and it's not like the Impalas. It's too short to be an Impala. So it looks like it might be the replacement for the Nova. Yes, I, I was told that. Uh, now, how true it is, I don't know, but I think you're right there. I mean, as far as being a... You just take it to different car shows and stuff around here? Well, no, this is the first uh, car show I've, I've brought it to. You come up here because Big Boy's Toy is going to be here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you done anything to it besides? Uh, not yet. This I'll... is actually Miss Joanne's car, correct? No, wrong. Oh, so it's, it's your car. It's our car. I thought she said it was her car. No, you're wrong. You, 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 no. Who's that motorcycle you got? Is that ours or yours? That's mine. How about the three-wheel motorcycle? That's mine. She and can't the, drive none of them, so I mean. So the car, <laughs> yeah, she told me, she said, how you like my new car, bro? I said, she said, he got a five-speed, I can't drive it. I said, well, what good does it do to you if you can't drive it? Uh, well. You um, just take her riding in it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just take her riding when she was ready to ride. He rides her on the motorcycle on Tuesday nights and rides her around this on the weekend. Yeah. Is there anything you want to do to the car to pep it up or anything? Yes, uh, I can change the pulley on the supercharger. It's got a, a three inch on it now. I can go to one inch and put a chip in it and I'll have 300 horsepower straight up. You about to go to a half an inch? No. Put six chips and four sets of tires if you're going to jump on that yellow Corvette right I didn't right say there. I'd go And it still won't do you a lot of good. Well, yeah, it will. Because yeah. when you punch it, you'll say, this chip's supposed to be working, but he sure is pulling away from me. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, you know. It just, it, I mean, it happens. Uh, that's true. It's like the Mustang guys. When they pull up around one of them, it just happens. It ain't a Mustang made from the factory that's going to outrun one. It yeah. just, it just happens. Uh, well, that's true. I'll agree. But I like your car. Uh, thank you. You going to change the wheels and tires or anything? No, else? I'm going to leave it just like it is. Though. I thought Joanne was going to give you some money and you was going to spurge a little. No, no, I'm, I'm okay. You just going to leave it like it is and drive it? Well, right now I am, but like I said, eventually I'll, I will change the pulley and put the chip. So this is your first show you've come to with? Right, this is the first show I put it in. And I ain't going to pick him on TV like I do on Tuesday night about him being short because he's got a little car. It's, so you ain't... Well, that's true. Now, your car ain't too... Uh, I mean, it's short too. Man. Oh, yeah, I just fall in now. I know. All you got to do is just fall true. in. That's true. That's At least true. you got to step up. <laughs> <laughs> See, he started, didn't he? He started. No, I didn't. See, mine's short and I fall in it. Yours is short and you jump in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a midget and you're not. There you go. <laughs> I couldn't pass that up. No, no. I know you couldn't. No. Yeah, if you think we're having fun now, come up to Lincoln on Tuesday night. Yeah, that now, is true. We have a blast. Tell you what, good looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. The Thank reason you. I want you to come up is I never had one on the show and kind of show people the Cobalt because they're new. Well, they've right. been out, to, like you said, two or three years. Yeah. 
but you don't see a lot of them around, especially Dan Sanchez. That's why I think it's taking a nova spot. Yeah, I do too. Look at him. He's over there making faces at you. Yeah, he, he come up while I go and I told him JoJo's going to be on the show. And he said, no, not JoJo. I said, yeah. He said, where is JoJo? I said, he's standing right up yonder. He said, where? I said, behind that little short fella. Oh, okay. He was behind the short Yeah, I know. Fella. We'll be right back. <laughs> Let me tell you about a place right here in North Alabama that was voted one of the number one romantic locations in the state of Alabama. Governor Cove Lodge Marina in Gunnersville, Alabama is that place. From weddings, family reunions, class reunions, bass tournaments, or just that quiet getaway for two, Covenant Cove is your answer. They have the Blue Parrot restaurant and lounge right on property. They have great food, good entertainment each and every night. They will assist you in planning and booking everything for your special event. Call Pam or one of the sales staff today at Covenant Cove and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Triplet Paint and Decorating right here on Wilmer Avenue in Anniston is your home improvement headquarters for this area. They have DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronado Paints that go on good and look great once they're on. They also have all the materials needed to do that special job around the house. Carpets, they carry Shaw and Mohawk. Hardwood floors by Robbins, so everything is in one location. Remember, DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronado Paints are used by professionals all over the United States, and it's one of the best on the market. Stop by today, tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to stop by. You know, a great privilege we have as U.S. citizens that we can vote for a candidate of our choice in a general election regardless of our parties. When we look for a circuit judge, we want someone with integrity, honesty, and knowledge of the law. Brian Howe is that candidate. A graduate of Alexander High School, JSU, and the University of Alabama Law School, Brian has served as citizens in the United States Armed Forces for 13 years and as Assistant District Attorney for 14 years. So Brian is the best candidate for this position. So join me in November and vote for Brian Howe for Circuit Judge. You know, in the state of Alabama, one thing that better be working perfect is that air condition. For all of your central heating and air condition needs, contact Wayne Mazel at Mazel Heating and Air Condition here in Oxford. They are state certified, bonded, and insured. Wayne and his staff do service, installation, new construction, and that yearly inspection. You know, every time you get a yearly inspection on that air conditioning unit, they check the Freon and check everything out, and it saves on that power bill. So give them a call today at 835-0509. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. Brian Justinger has a 67 Chevelle convertible. I love 67 Chevelles. Brian, welcome to Big Boy Thanks, Stars. Barry. Tell me about your Chevelle. You know, I was... Talking to a guy down the other end a while ago, and he said he's got one for sale. Here's a 67. And I said, you'll never have problems selling 66, 67 Chevelle. Yeah, they're real popular. Uh, I bought this one, or actually my wife bought it for me in 1984. Uh-uh. Yeah. Y'all hear that, women? His wife bought it for uh, It was a 10th wedding anniversary present. I was on the golf course. I came home, and uh, the Chevelle was in the driveway. Uh, and she created a monster, because since then uh, I've been buying and selling cars, and I've got a uh, pretty good collection. I've got five old cars. I really enjoy the hobby. And you never get it tired of them. No, no. People say, why don't you sell them? Why don't you get rid of them? Why? You know? I've got 72,000 on this car. Uh, when I bought it in 84, it had 67,000 miles on it. Those, I believe, are the true miles on it. Uh, so it's been driven sparingly, uh, cruise-ins and shows. It's never been on a trailer. Uh, I, I've just really enjoyed it. Of all the cars, this will be the one I hang on to. Right. And the Chevelle, you know, the convertibles, there wasn't a lot of the convertibles made. I'll take it back. There's probably several made, but you don't see them around anymore. You wonder what happened to all of them. Yeah. Um, there was one I showed against, a nice yellow car, which had the L79 option. And uh, I'm looking for that one. It's uh, showed in Gadsden several years ago. That was the High Horse 327. This is a 275 horse 327. Right. So, when you keep them original like that, you know, a lot of people when they get a Chevelle, I've seen them. You know, there's a lot of clones out there. That there's a lot of clones out there that look original. If you don't know what you're looking at, you'll never know the difference.